This is a story of boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. I don't like this trend of YouTubers pretending to be Chris Hansen and Chris Hansen pretending to actually be like a FBI agent or something that can get something done because they, these guys mess up a lot of these cases when it comes to children and SA, right? They mess it up. They, they mess it up. I mean, this is why I don't really like doing reactions to a lot of these exposures and we're going to track down these chomos or whatever. I'm not rocking with that because most of the time they get away because of these people using this stuff for clout. And these, like, these guys, they just trying to line their pockets up. They, they definitely don't handle things in what you would call a professional manner, which opens a lot of doors and leeway for these people to leave. Even some offering them to box their way out <laughs> words uh, box me and you, you can go free oh, okay okay that's insane there's more no you do consent to this right i mean you're gonna beat me up uh, I, I hope you consent to it though you said yeah like we are not calling the cops if you do fight us and we're not calling police about this so do you, you hear this you hear this if you box with me, we're not going to call the cops and we're not going to tell the police about you trying to hook up with a little kid. That sounds like someone that actually cares. This is what they're telling person. Yeah, let's, we're going to box for the entertainment on camera so I can look like a hero and then we're going to let you go. We're going to let you go. We ain't even going to call the police. We're going to let you go. Actually, them even holding him against his will would be illegal in the first place. You see how this is literally giving this person who had plans to do something with a child a free way out. You giving him the, the red carpet treatment on his way out of a jail cell so you could give views and money. But every time I try to call something like this out, I'm the bad guy, though. Do you agree to do this? So if I consent, then I have nothing. Do, do you agree to fight? Because you you are free you are free to leave. But if you leave, we will take this to law enforcement. You see this? Is? You. This is a this that's illegal too as well. If I'm not mistaken. Still, you still um trying to uh, what's the word blackmail him into doing such? <laughs> the fact that it is wrong outside of that. Outside of that, this is that's crazy. Oh, if you box with us, we're gonna let you go scot free. You, nothing. We're not going to call the police at all. We're just going to let that happen. A member of Predator Poachers, Massachusetts, mistakenly confronts a recently recovering drug addict for a predator. Wow. What's your name? Can you just do me a favor real quick? You're harassing people, bro. Can I see your face? Do you mind if I... You're blatantly harassing people. Bro, don't walk up on me like... <laughs> I would I would have had a different reaction, bro. If you disturbed my peace with some bull crap like this, mistakenly, fam, what? And you're not even a cop. This could have ended really bad for you, bro. And I'm not like some super tough guy. This is really dangerous. Y'all wilding, bro. You're what? You're harassing random people in the street. That's not. That's not cool. That's not cool, bro. I see your phone. Do you have meet me an app on your phone? A beat me up. No. Yeah. Can you show me that, please? Show you what? You, you don't have me me on your phone. You You're can't show me you have me me. You're trying to delete it, but I screen record everything, bud. What? You're trying to delete it, but I screen when you hear this, you're accusing him. Right? In the in the manner that you're doing it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, you're trying to delete it right now. You're harassing this man. He doesn't even know what the hell you're talking about. What is this? What's this about? Right. Just, can you text the uh, Mimi? Uh, can you no go to the app for this shit? Like, what's this? Right. Listen, can you just show me the app and you go to your app? I don't show it. That is my app. I mean, I I can call the cops. If that's what do you call the cops for? I could call the cops. So if you were so certain, why didn't you call the cops already? Why were the police not there with you? If you were so certain, why threaten to call the cops? That don't make sense. That sounds crazy, bro. Because I have the whole chat list. So do you want to just show me me and we could talk about this? Me, me what? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to detail after it. 
Pull that picture up real quick. Why would you take that camera out of my face? I, it's though? legal. I can. I don't I give a record. fuck what it is. Dude. Like, I do time. Like I don't fuck with that kind of shit. Like I'm going to detox right now. Come on, man. All right. You don't drive, right? Oh, no. no. That's what I'm saying. That can't that's be. You don't drive. That's hilarious. That can't be. That's hilarious. Yo, my yo, bro. Temporary insanity might have happened. Hooks. Big nasty hooks. It'd have been a, a Mike Tyson moment in that bitch. You really came and disturbed my peace like that? You ho rat? Are you serious? But then he would have been wrong if he spinning back, kicked this man. Come on, bro. These dudes is wilding. These dudes is wilding, bro. That's crazy that you could just do that. I bet you they do that all the time. You don't drive, right? Oh, no. no. That's what I'm saying. I Leave him alone. Right, that is hilarious. <laughs> I just relapsed like three weeks ago. Following the controversy, a lot of clips of Alex's unprofessionalism wow. resurfaced. For example, in this clip, an individual illegally detains a pedophile before letting him get away. It looked like a kid. Get off this, son. Get him! Get him! Get him! This is illegal. That's blatantly illegal. I'm telling you, these people are not cops, bro. They mess, they mess up cases, bro. You're letting people go because you're not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> What, kind of, what was this person with? He couldn't even hold a little boy. You, you weak bodied bastard. You couldn't even hold this man, bro. The door, all you had to do was literally put your weight on the door, hypothetically, right? You shouldn't have done it in the first place. You shouldn't be detaining nobody. But hypothetically, if you just put your weight on the door at an angle, it would have been impossible for him to even open that, right? You weak bodied bitch. Oh, my bad. Listen. I don't even know this person. My bad. My bad. I'm just saying. My bad. My bad. Recently, somebody who does something very similar was arrested himself in St. Louis for holding somebody got against arrested? their will. Law enforcement. Wait, this is someone from their crew? That somebody from their crew got arrested for but sending a strong signal that this wow. kind of vigilanteism is dangerous and could potentially be irresponsible and backfire. And when Alex himself is now catching predators, he's instead going into stores and harassing people for the funnies. First of all, that prevents me from seeing your pretty face, which is offensive to my eyes. And second of all, it stops you from breathing and... You know, breath is the essence of human life. So I'd say wear it for, forehead so, uh, or no head. You know? Or he's having beef and fighting with other people. You see, now when you're used to doing public stuff like that for trolling, just to, for clicks and views, it makes it real hard to separate me seeing you do that and me seeing you do the same exact thing with alleged people who want children. The same, there was no difference between the way he was talking to that lady right now in the store and the way he was talking to EDP, which makes me think that this can, this could not be 100% honest. There's a possibility, right? That's the dangers that you have when you're doing that stuff. Catching groups. It's like the boy who cried wolf. If you, you do a whole bunch of videos trolling and grow like a career and no variety from it, and then you're still doing videos like that, that's crazy. Hey, hey, I want to address you calling nah, my wife you being racist. I'm calling my kids. Just go away, bro. Alex, Alex, it's about the kids, not about you. Just go away, bro. Without backup. You ain't no fighter. You brought three people. You brought three people, bro. I didn't bring nobody. That's my roommate. I got to get away. That dude just fucking drooled. Oh, shit. I have, set, I have probably 15 echo. This is called a hoodie, Alex. It's called a hoodie. It's a hoodie. Yeah, a hoodie. So, do you live here, or do you? Um, I'm from Houston, but you know, I'm staying like by him. He, oh. he, he lives here. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm just gonna lean in so I can talk to you. Yeah, sure. Um, do you consider yourself Alex a vigilante? Yeah, this looks crazy. No, I consider myself more of an activist, or I guess well, not really a journalist, more of an activist, because we do care about making a change. By the way, Alex Rosen has fallen on heavy times ever since his termination. He's continued his trademark methods and supported other groups in his area. But as time goes, his unprofessionalism continues to show. At the end of the day, I don't think Alex cares about predators. He's yeah, fam, I don't think so either. They don't seem like it. If you still don't believe that these people are extremely, extremely unprofessional, look at the way they even conduct their interviews, fam. You've seen a little, little taste. 
look at this look at the way they look at the way they do this bro they yo they cracking so many jokes bro like and i'm down with dark humor but damn it this ain't the time they letting off yo it was like when you ever seen um what's it called cheaters with peter guns fam that that's probably some of the most entertaining content you can ever watch peter guns is saying the craziest jokes as you're finding out your girl was getting clapped in the bathroom Right by your best friend, he he hitting you with bars of jokes, just bars. These dudes will come in with the jokes, and I'm like, this, this is somebody who's trying to meet up a little girl. Uh, I'm talking about he wanted her to pick up his poop, nasty things like that, nasty things. <laughs> now, listen, if you're a grown adult with another grown adult, then y'all want to do the, the. I don't care, but cook this nigga sending us to a little girl anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, they they like this is deaf comedy jam. Let's let's roast them. Let's okay, roast them. Not not right now. Like <laughs> right now, this is when we need answers, right? If you're gonna do this, and also, where's the police? Man, what's up? Okay, fist bump. Um, whoa, I was uh coming out here. To Flash is off. Okay. You should title a video instead of you know your video almost through hands with a thirteen year old. You should title your video almost. To the 13 year old. I think that'll get a lot of hits you see. I think so. I watched you in high school. You hear you hear this? Well, me and my friend Keyshawn, Yikes. you were hilarious, man. You also in a live stream bragging about this little affair that you had with a teacher. So Dude. let this be known. Let this be known. I am not a how do you feel? How do you feel if a grown man came out to meet your what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to, I said, excuse me. Dude, just push, dude. <laughs> What's your push up? What's your push up? Whoa, what's up? What's up? What is, use a pedophile. Use a pedophile. Use a pedophile. No, you just bumped into him. You bumped into him. Wait, so you just getting into just, just scuffles in the street while you're supposed to be being professional and, you know, doing your duty, right? Oh, I didn't talk to you. No, he's a pedophile. I'm a catcher pedophile. He's real kids lie. That's okay. Why are you punching him? CC unit then goes on to mold for another five minutes about how this guy interrupted his live stream. Pussy ass fool. At this point, catching the nasty man has been put aside and all his attention is being put towards the civilian. Wow. Messing up the live broadcast. So instead of continuing to, you know, do the interrogation, you focused on the civilian, showing that you didn't really actually care about the. Okay. Should have dropped his ass. Why didn't Tries you? to fight him, takes his car. Fuck you, yeah. And then chases his car as he leaves. This is crazy. This is what, guys, this is who people are supporting to go do this, to do, go fight crime. This, this is who you want doing this. Someone who's just wilding out like this. That's who you want. To, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I will never use any of these people as a source for nothing. Skinhead. What's up, skinhead? For nothing. Mr. Clean. Skinhead. Because of this channel, um, we do not, you know, we don't Look at them. degrade anybody. We right here. Look at that ugly face. Look at that ugly face. Do not, um, Bully anybody we don't look at that ugly face. Why are you leaving? Be literally anybody. Wow. Why are you leaving, pussy? Um, Yo, you're harassing people. Look at those mad subscribers. Mad subscribers. Let me see. Are they still doing videos? Are they still doing videos? They gained even more since then. Since this video was made, they've gained even more. Something that's wild is I was always planning on doing this subject, right? I had it already noted. And then I came across this clip of this. It's crazy. This is this a rapper that went to a, a mall or some kind of Walmart or some kind of store of, of that sort and bumped into these YouTubers who happened to be, you know, the P word catchers. And they was like, hey, man, you want to be in this video? And he joined in and fought the P word and got whooped. And the P word catchers watched the entire event and let the guy go and high five the P word. Hear from his words. What this motherfucker thinking he finna come meet a 14 year old girl? Like, what? what, what? I'm like, oh yeah. Like, they saying we finna smash him out and shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh yeah, we finna. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, hell yeah, going up. So. Oh, wait, wait, Paul. So they told you, like, y'all. 
was gonna smash him out the They said we was gonna fuck him up. Yeah, we was all gonna beat his ass. That that don't don't really sound right, man. I'm gonna keep it real with you. That that don't sound right to me. Uh, That don't sound right. Back to it. Back to the picture. You know what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, I don't know how true that was. Is they were saying they talked to him after, and they were saying that he knew how to fight and shit. Because he, he, he said he was a boxer. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm not tripping, like, no. bro. He <laughs> clearly was. You can tell. Now, oh, now I'm not the homie. Y'all not finna go up for me. And then y'all yeah. going. Oh, little, little homie got heart of a pedophile. Y'all little homie now. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> no. Oh, little homie. Like, uh, he didn't say that. Fuck? Not only did they ask him to be in the video, encourage him. To do something really stupid and attack this guy. They, they're not police officers. They just vigilantes out here. I think in the video, the guy caught himself like Batman or Spider Man, something of that nature, something, something stupid. And, and then once he started getting whooped on by the person that they chose to confront and attack, it was just like, well, <laughs> you're on your own, player. You're on your own. What you want me to do? Oh, I know who you are, Chris Hansen. But see, I, I call you Chris Handsome. I watch your TV show all the time. Let's talk about Chris Handsome. Oh, that's right. I know his name, Chris Handsome. I call him Chris Handsome. <laughs> nah, for real. I don't like him. I don't like him. Not a fan of this guy. I think he's trash, right? Chris was fired from NBC in 2013 after some infidelity scandal, which led him to starting a Kickstarter for a new program where he investigates online predators, to which a lot of people supported and he raised almost $90,000, but allegedly ended up abandoning the project without refunding anybody. And the production value of his Onision streams created years later doesn't quite seem to have the set value of 90 grand. Came on YouTube with this smug attitude, walking around, strutting and stuff, acting like he ran the place. Just messed up a bunch of cases. Jumped into a bunch of cases he knew nothing about. He would interview these YouTubers uh, who I guess been covering these stories for some time and just be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have a seat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What you say? Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Chris Hansen has approved this message. And then now everybody's like, oh, <laughs> they all jump up on him. They just jump up on him, fam. I ain't buy it. I didn't buy it at all. He never knew. What the hell he was talking about? I didn't really like to, to catch a predator, the TV show either. I'm lying. I thought it was amazing. And so I realized that most of those cases got tossed out because DA didn't even want to prosecute it. Among other things, like people deleting themselves in video games, in Minecraft. YouTube, don't delete me. Listen, listen, why you, why you treat me like that? Well, I got to be Ethan Klein for you not to do me dirt. Why you got to do, why you do me dirty? What I do to you, Susan? Is Susan still running stuff? I love you, Susan. I think you amazing. Don't, don't treat me like that. Listen, why did the algorithm is crazy? Algorithm, I, I digress. Chris Hansen is nasty. Super nasty with it. He he's just out here being foul, fam. What about the Anision documentary? He just came on here. He's the expert now. He's the expert in Onision messing up cases. One of the biggest voices in this situation, Sarah, was advised by Chris to send him and Vince her laptop so that he could send it to the FBI after she showed that it had proof of Kai sending inappropriate images while Sarah was still a minor. While she was being told it was being investigated by the FBI, Vincent, a man that Chris hired, left it sitting around for months and even claimed to have tampered with it, essentially obliterating any chance of that being credible evidence against Onision and Kai. Vincent had also gotten himself involved in several other scandals, turning the entire Onision investigation into a complete joke, eventually resulting in Chris having no choice but to terminate Vince's involvement with the investigation. He the expert, though. Why? Why? Because he had a TV show? Word, son. Y'all, y'all just really want to believe that he's a hero so bad, fam. I do not buy it. I never bought it. I'm lying. I liked the show before I found out the other stuff. I didn't buy it once he came to YouTube. Right. I just wasn't messing with it. If I'm being honest, I think most of these guys are just doing it for the money. <laughs> I think I think that's been proven quite a plethora of times, actually.
truly amazing. However, a lot of YouTubers started being critical of how predator Super. poachers had conducted themselves in this operation. For example, yeah, it was wild and out, bro. I, I think it was unprofessional. For example, they initially restricted the footage of the chat sh to channel members only. Nick. Facts. And then they waited until it was monetized, and then they released it. It was days. They was doing trailers and all of that. They waited till it was fully monetized, and then they released the footage. Wait, but I'm a member to yeah. this channel. To Do you see what I see? Early. Yeah, yeah. That they sold it. They hid it behind a paywall. You see this? You see what these these online Chris Hansons be doing? Chris Hansen does this as well. This is where they got it from. He created the format. It Become early. a member on this channel to see the videos early. Oh my Holy god. Holy shit. Wow, man, <laughs> dude, <this is> fucking <laughs> Look Look at all the members. I hate. And after the catch, they rigorously promoted their merchandising and Don't websites. Be. Let me just immediately show you why I doubt that these guys actually care and are doing this for a good cause. Just go into their website. This is the first thing. Before you get anything else, you get payment plans. Automatically. That's crazy. That's crazy. And they charging. They charging a grip. They, they prices is higher than my Patreon prices. Man, I says the catch is early, completely. So you, they're selling this. They're selling it. Wow. Wow. So now where can I find out their track record? Have they actually gotten bad people off of the streets? Probably and not. And there's also no information on the site except for buying things. Ah, so the first thing That's that crazy. comes up when I look this up... That's Vig all that was on there? Vigilante investigation creates issues for prosecuting cases. Talking about the predator poachers. There's not a lot that the police can do to sanitize a bad, bad investigation from a legal perspective. Mm. So they actively made it difficult to prosecute a pedophile. They're doing the opposite of how Get all of them. All of them, bro. That gen is a grift. It is a grift, yo. They are using people's emotions towards these type of situations. They get you to finance them, bro. This is that's all they're doing, bro. I don't think people should be so quick to just jump on a bandwagon of, yeah, we're we're the saviors. Not just me rooting for this this one person. That means in all existence, <laughs> this, one, this one person, they're going to be able to just solve it. They're going to remove everything ever bad in the world. They're going to solve it all. They're not Jesus. There only, can only be one highland the type of flow. There can only be one, man. Only one, man. That's, that's my savior. But yeah, no, they, these people are not that, fam. And when you put that much belief into it, because yes, we have trauma or we're just close to these things, or maybe we just have a huge amount of empathy or any empathy at all. We, we can't let people manipulate us because we have that though, right? We can't let people emotionally manipulate us. And grifters, they see that. They like, ooh, they, they start rubbing their hands like Birdman. I need lotion. I need lotion. This, this, is, this is looking kind of ashy. It don't matter. Who I'm trying to impress, man. Y'all accept me for me. Ashiness and all. Who it would have been crazy if just dust just flew out my hand like I was LeBron James. Like I just, I digress. Listen, back, back to it. Back to, <laughs> to it. Don't just be believing people out here in these streets, fam, just because they say that they have a positive message. Oh, this, this is what I'm going for. Believe me, please believe me. <laughs> no, actually use your logical thinking, fam. Just be, be aware, be aware. It's, oh, we're going to end it all for real. You're going to eliminate it all around the world. Nick, stop lying. You can't. Impossible because the world is nasty. It's like that. I'm not saying you can't fight against it, but there's ways, man. Let's do the proper channels. Let's handle things the proper channels. If you want to speak on something, cool. But when people act like they detectives and they just be running, I can't rock with it. I just can't rock with it, man. Tell me what you think down in the comment section, man. If you disagree, definitely let me know there. Yeah, I I'm going to read that. No, for, for real. Put it, put it in the comment section. I'm going to read that. For real, put it, put it 
Also make some suggestions if you want me to cover a different topic as well, fam. I'm, I'm just not with the manipulation and I see a lot of these grifters do and they use you guys trauma to do it. It's not for me. It's not for me. Watch more videos, sign up for my Patreon as well, fam, or my channel memberships. And if you want to see me live stream, go to my BX Beast Boy Reacts channel, man. The, the link should be somewhere on my homepage where I just do a bunch of live streams and a bunch of other stuff, man. Go check that out.